praise the lord hallelujah beloved today we are going to read and meditate on a very important verse from the bible as we read romans 4 verse 18 it says under utterly hopeless circumstances he hopefully believed under utterly hopeless circumstances he hopefully believed a wonderful word indeed when god is going to do something wonderful he begins with a difficulty it is going to be something very wonderful he begins with an impossibility yes the word is true there are things which seem impossible and then difficult and then done isn't it o oh god of the impossible since all things are to thee but soil in which omnipotence can work almightily each trial may to us become the means that will display how over what seems impossible our god had perfect sway the very storms that beat upon a little bark so frail but manifest thy power to quell all forces that assail the things that are to us too hard the foes that are too strong are just the very ones that may awake a triumph song o god of the impossible when we no hope can see grant us the faith that still believes all possible to thee yes god is the living god god of the living and not the dead and all live to him as we read in luke 20 verse 38 there is nothing impossible for a living god with god all things are possible luke 1:37 and matthew 19:26 for he can do everything and none of his purpose can be withheld from him as we read in job 42 verse 2 yes you can try it beloved the word says ask and ye shall receive matthew 7 verse 8 many times we have ups and downs in life we have hard days and days of sickness of sorrow and of pain grief and agony as we read in isaiah 14 the word says yes it says that he will remove the fear the bondage and the sorrow away from us as we read in isaiah 14 verse 3 these are not just words it is the living word as we see the word is life the word is spirit john 6 verse 63 and heavens and earth shall pass away but his words will not pass away matthew 24:35 is true and also we read the word is true that jesus christ is the same yesterday today and for ever as we read in hebrews 13 verse 8 and the word says fear not only believe mark 5 verse 36 yes this words are true as i am the witness of lord jesus christ at a particular stage of life where everything turn futile the words came true in my life fear not only believe he is our i am who i am exodus 3 verse 14 
and for our every situation the word says my presence shall go with thee and i will give you rest as we read in exodus 33 verse 14 as we read in romans 4 verse 18 it says under utterly hopeless circumstances he hopefully believed hallelujah yes we have to have hope in our living god for we walk by faith and not by sight second corinthians 5 verse 7 and we will receive the power when we receive the holy spirit and we shall be his witness in judea and samaria in jerusalem and to the ends of the earth the word is true acts 1 verse 8 let us ask for the holy spirit which has been given to each one of us as a guide and it will help us to discern the right and the wrong and remember in all these things we are more than conquerors romans 8 verse 37 for a mighty god has said to you and to me fear not yes be strong be courageous he will never leave you nor forsake you hallelujah Yes, for let us always seek the counsel of the Lord, as we read in One Chronicles fourteen ten, and the word is true which says, "Be strong, be courageous." Deuteronomy thirty one verse six. Again the same word, behave courageously. Second Chronicles nineteen verse eleven. Hallelujah, for the word is true. He will bless us with peace and strength. Psalm twenty nine. Verse eleven is true, for he is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Revelation nineteen verse sixteen, he is the omnipotent God who reigns. Revelation nineteen verse six, and what he's promised, he will do it. He is faithful to his promise, as we read in Hebrews ten twenty three, Exodus twelve twenty five, and Joshua twenty one verse forty five. Whatever God said was done nothing failed yes for the word is true that the word will not delay it shall be done as we read in Ezekiel 12:28 this message goes to you my dear brother my dear sister who say their past have been a waste Joel 2:19 to 27 says i will restore to you the years the locusts have eaten and i will restore yes the word is true and you shall not be put to shame you shall not be put to shame the word has come twice and it shall be done as we read in genesis 46 verse 2 and 3 the word says god said to jacob 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 i will make you a great nation yes and today we are Israel yes we are the children of God the friends of God the ambassadors of Christ yes and also we are his children isn't that wonderful so let us serve the lord and also as Joshua says as for me and my house we will serve the lord Joshua yes 24:15 there's also say it and Let us receive abundance of blessing, for there will be showers of blessing as we obey our living God, as we read in Ezekiel thirty-four twenty-six. Yes, and also the word says to you and to me, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Isaiah forty-one verse ten. The word comes thrice in Isaiah forty-one, ten, thirteen, fourteen. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Fear the not for I am with thee I myself will help you I will uphold you with my righteous right hand and I myself will deliver you yes the word is true yes for he will take our right hand in his hand as we read in Isaiah 46 verse 10 the word says from the beginning he knows the end that is our mighty god as Isaiah 46 verse 4 says He will 
deliver us he will carry us and he will carry us even in our gray hair and old age hallelujah isn't that wonderful and we read god will give us all that is good as we read in psalm 85 verse 12 indeed it is true try it for there is no fees required nor any kind of sacrifice required for a mighty god says i desire mercy not sacrifice as we read in matthew 9 verse 14 for jesus christ came in this world not for the righteous but sinners for repentance hallelujah yes and he has loved each one of us whoever you are whatever you are for he is able to change everything as he is the mighty god the prince of peace emmanuel god with us he is our ebenezer god will help us he is the wonderful counselor and the father of the fatherless isaiah 9 verse 6 the prophecy in the old testament has come true in the new testament so let us make it a point to read the bible the manna to our soul and the road map of life yes god will make a way for you and me where there is no way for jesus christ is the way the truth and the life john 14 verse 6 is true he is the way beloved there's no other way so let us walk in the light for jesus christ is the light of the world john 8:12 he is the alpha and the omega revelation 1 8 five times in the book of revelation it is written he is the alpha and the omega and all power and authority in heaven and on earth belongs to lord jesus christ and even the evil spirits and demons shudder in the mighty name of jesus of nazareth matthew 28 is true and he's promised us he's with us to the end of the age hallelujah yes let us read the bible the manna to our soul the road map of life and receive abundance of blessing for he will come riding on the heavens on the excellency of clouds to help you and me the eternal god is a refuge deuteronomy 33 verse 26 and 27 be encouraged my dear brother my dear sister and be blessed today and every day remember jesus christ is with you and me he will not leave us as orphans john 14 verse 18 is true god bless you let's pray for those who are on the sick bed abba father touch my brother sister children who are on the sick bed heal them in the name of jesus of nazareth for with the wounds and the stripes that you suffered for us you heal us you took our infirmities and carried our diseases as we read the mighty word it speaks yes matthew 8 verse 17 and isaiah 53 verse 5 bless each of my brother sister let there be showers of blessing as we kill we read in 34 26 and provide all the needs as you are a yahweh ere genesis 22 verse 14 you are a yahweh shalom the prince of peace and also you are our emmanuel god with us thank you for this time to pray bless the children with wisdom and each one of us with wisdom for a daily life help us to walk in your light as you are the way the truth and the life john 14 verse 6 this prayer we ask in the mighty name of jesus of nazareth amen amen hallelujah amen god bless you numbers chapter 6 24 to 27 amen amen